So let's make a spaghetti and meatballs cupcake topper. So here we have our fondant disc again, and I'm going to use some pale fondant, um, some beige that I made. Um, what I'm showing you here is the same things that I have used in prior competitions, um, even winning uh, Big Bake Canada for Food Network. This is all simple stuff that you can do. You don't have to be overwhelmed that it's too much. So I am just rolling out a rope, a thin rope, because I'm gonna make the spaghetti. So you can roll it out as thin as you want or as thick as you want. If you want linguine, if you want angel hair, And I just want to roll out enough because I'm going to just kind of just place it on here, squiggle it around. I want to make a nice pile of spaghetti here. I think I'll make a little more here. You can add to it as you want. But I just want to make a nice little pile. All I'm doing is just laying it right down on there. Make one more. Okay, so our spaghetti is done. So I need to make some sauce. I'm gonna take some red. And again, I'm just gonna mix it all up. Not a big piece. I just wanna make a blob of spaghetti sauce. So all I'm doing is softening up this red and just squeezing it out, just making a, just a shape and I'm just gonna place that right on top and that's just gonna be our spaghetti sauce. Now I'm gonna make some meatballs. So I have some brown here. So I'm gonna make three meatballs. Just gonna roll out three balls. It's a little too big, there we go. They're about the size of like a blueberry. These, these meatballs. And I'm gonna take a stiff toothbrush and I'm just gonna texture them so that they look like some cooked meatballs. It always, when you add textures to something, it makes it look a little more realistic. And I'm just gonna place those three meatballs on top of our sauce as so. So we have that for now. Now, of course, we need more sauce. Always have to have that sauce. So I'm gonna do the same thing that we did on the spaghetti, but I'm just gonna make a smaller piece of red. And I'm just gonna flatten it out, pull it out, just make that shape. And I'm gonna place that on our meatballs, as so. And then we have to top off with some spices. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of green, and I'm just gonna roll it out. Just gonna cut some thin pieces of green. And then I'm just gonna cut them again in small, just small little pieces. You don't need a lot. And then I'm just gonna place the green on there. Kind of like looking like our oregano here. I'm just gonna place them, just little pieces. And there we have our spaghetti and meatballs.